Um, I studied a little more about the senses because I was so curious about which sense we have is maybe more reliable or stronger. And I found this uh, scientist converted the bandwidth of the senses into the computer terms. So if this is our sight, meaning this amount of information coming to our eyes, and they were able to measure 1,250 megabyte per second. That's the same speed of the network. Is that making sense to you? So this is a little bit about like your eyes are open and you see a lot of things. The information is rushing through your eyes and your eyes are able to send that information to your brain with that speed. Well, the next we have is the touch. And that's 125 megabyte per second. It's like a USB key that you put that jump drive on your computer. Uh, next is hearing and smell. It's 10 times slower, as you can see, 12.5 megabyte per second. It's like an old-fashioned Macintosh hard disk, yeah? It's like 10 years, 15 years old. Uh, I'm, I'm, thinking like through, I'm thinking as a tango dancer, like I'm thinking as, a, as the sight, how does it help me? And touch, hearing and smell. And we have one more thing, it's called taste, which is very poor, as you can see that red square. And that's like the number is not even worth writing there. It's a pretty poor sense of ours. The Iron Chef program. Have you seen those guys? These are like world known chefs and they're uh, blindfolded. And so they're supposed to like taste stuff and then identify. They put like grape in his mouth and he says, mm, mm, cherry tomato, you know? They're not really able to, or they put like a bread and they say garlic, you know? Like we're really not doing so well about the taste. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the touch, touch, you know, the, um, uh, of course, when we dance, the embrace is part of it, but the most sensitive place on our body in terms of the touch is pretty much on our lips, yeah? So the kissing and stuff is a very big deal. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking through this because the taste is so poor and some kissers, like the French kissers, they're really not getting anything more, actually, compared to, you know? You know, if you kiss on the lips, it's so much better, actually, than just, you know? And here's a fascinating fact. The little red dot here, it's the amount that we are aware of. So that amount of information is coming in, you know, from your eyes, from your ears, from your tongue, and from your hands, and whatever. And we are only actually using 0.7%. The rest is called exformation. Somebody asked us during the class. It's pretty much garbage, you know. Like we don't really keep most of the things come into our system. Our brain only needs a very little part of it. It's not like computers, you know. Whatever you put in a computer, you can save it on an external drive. That's not how it works. Your brain sees, hears, tastes, whatever it is supposed to hear, see, or taste. Yeah? And a bunch of the other stuff is being discarded. <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to simplify this a little bit because, yes, of course, during the dance, touch is very important. But in this uh, lecture, since it's about the visualization and hearing and tango music and stuff, we're mostly dealing with sight, hearing, of course, not the smell, really. I mean, you probably smell now. I mean, you smell other people around you, but we're also smelling. If you stay here two more hours, we're going to stink all together, I promise you. But we have that quality with us. So, um, and then, of course, the little red dot. And my goal is to make sure that maybe we can increase uh, the capability of hearing more. <coughs> it's not exactly possible, of course. We cannot increase the number of sensors you have in your nose or in your ears so you can hear more, but maybe we can increase the amount of awareness towards it. That's kind of our goal in this lecture.